Today we're talking about image generation on Replit, brand new functionality that allows you to generate images directly from within Replit. I'm gonna show you how it works, explain why you might use it. So in front of me, I have a plant identifier app that I build. It allows you to upload a photo. Uh, this is uh, Monstera Deliciosa. And we'll use Anthropic's uh, JSON mode or structured outputs to populate uh, the details of this plant based on the image interpret or interpretation of it. Uh, so you can see here, it recognizes the Monstera Deliciosa. We get a description and some care tips. Now, why would I want to generate an image? Well, on the homepage, you can click learn more here. And I want to show people a preview of what they'll get. Maybe I want to add some login, et cetera. And I have a sample plan. Now I could go on to Google, I could look up images, um, but I really just want to generate a unique image uh, for my sample plan. So what you'll see in agent, in this agent tool section here, is that we have web search and image generation right now. And that allows us to generate images using agent. So I recently put out a video on how to prompt um, image generation with AI. I'll link that in the description below and on the screen here. Um, but a good way to start is with a subject, a context, and a style. So we're going to think about subject, context, and style. Use that as our structure to prompt agent for image generation. So we'll say something like um, generate an image of a Monstera deliciosa, I uh, man, ciosa, Swiss cheese plant. So this is our subject, right? What's the context? Um, in a glazed white pot sitting on the floor of uh, sitting on a on a hardwood hardwood floor in a uh, gorgeous sunlit uh, apartment with a brick wall. Descriptive context, and then style. We'll say photo real realistic, photo realistic, um, one to one aspect ratio, four K. Um, use that image for our sample plant placeholder. So a couple things that are going on here. First, I was extremely descriptive about what I wanted. We kind of envisioned a scene. We used that subject context style framework to, um, to, to inform agent about exactly what we wanted there. And then we instructed agent on where to put that plant. So what agent's going to do now is it's going to make a call. It's going to use our image generation model. Under the hood, you can check out our docs to understand how that's working. There'll be a link in the description for that as well. And then it'll generate the image and it's actually going to put it where we need it on our app. So we don't even have to worry about that. So we can see here, Agent uh, well optimized its memory, um, replaced the placeholder image, and generated uh, our image of uh, Monstera Deliciosa um, next to our brick accent wall and our hardwood floor with the sunlit lighting. And so it really is that combination of subject context and style that helps us get accurate image outputs. Again, check out my other video for a more in-depth tutorial, but this is how you can get started using image generation to start adding some uh, really unique images to your applications and just making them feel totally yours. Until next time. Peace.